How are you? I'm well, how are you? We are all you great. So splendid. So well decorated. <laughs> well, we saw that little clip there of you dancing away with, yeah. with Ed Balls. Obviously, you know, Strictly's coming up soon. Have you yeah. kept the old dancing going? Not so much, because all the dances I liked were from the 18th century. You know, I'm not very <laughs> cool. I was once um, in a newspaper article, it said, let's party like it's 1899. <laughs> and there's nowhere you can go. Where are you going to go and do um, the quick step know. or anything of, anything like that? You know, it's a shame, really. Yeah. Um, and, of course, Oksana has disappeared back to America, so she can't dance How with me. How unhelpful. It's so, yeah, yeah, it's exhausting. But this year I'm going to be supporting, I think, Jamie Lang. Because oh, why? Well, because everybody says I look like his dad. Which is oh. kind of... I think yeah. brother. Um, Tell us about your new yeah. show, because yes. that's obviously why you're here. It is tonight at 10 o'clock. It's called The Rob Rinder Verdict. Ooh. And we're going to be having some very famous guests on, some of which I might be able to tell you, some not. And we're going to be discussing a bit like this, issues in life, um, philosophical ones, and the issues of the week. Uh -huh. And I'm going to be coming to a conclusion as to whether or not it's benefiting humanity or oh, not. Okay. And some pretty interesting Gosh, things... Gosh, that sounds deep. Yeah. It does. It does deep. Deep, deep, but very, very funny. So I is hope. it a panel show? It's not so much a panel show, it's me. More like a chat show, where um, I go and explore some of the big ideas. And I think yeah. on a lot of chat shows, people have things to sell and they come on and they're not necessarily themselves, whereas yeah. I'm more interested in people coming on and being their best selves, being sure. authentic, really. Yeah. And usually that's the case when you're asking them about something else, music, that sort of thing. Yeah. And in this case, we're going to be exploring some of the more philosophically challenging issues of the day. Like, like what? Like, death pods. like um, for example, death pods, exactly. Like, What's for a example, death pod? living off grid with bears. A death pod, well, it's not legal, I should say, in this country. It's oh, also it? not legal in Italy, where I went to see it, in Venice. So, me and Tom Allen, or Tom Allen and I, I should say, who also looks a bit like me, we went to Venice <laughs> to the Biennale to see this man who um, is perfectly called Dr. Nietzsche. And what he's done is he believes that, and it's extraordinary, that once you get to 50, you should be able to <laughs> kill yourself. Um, and it sounds pretty appalling, and it's a it very does. challenging... It does, it's my birthday soon. I hate the sound of that. I'm well, 15. Oh, all right, Andrew, I'm right. Right. Hang on a second, there are other choices. <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> and so what he's it's doing... It's not compulsory. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Um, he's putting the plans um, online, and as long as you've got £7,000 and access to a 3D printer, you can make this thing, it's in plastic, move it to a country where it's legal, Yeah. as long as you qualify, and that means you have to pass a test. But, of course, the passing of the test, he hasn't quite devised Is it, it legal anywhere yet? It's sort of probably legal in Switzerland, but he hasn't worked out the nuance of it, yeah. the nuances of it. But, of course, the worst thing is the last person you speak to is somebody in IT. I mean, I can barely work a printer. Can you imagine? <laughs> you phone someone in IT and they say, well, look, turn it off and on again. Ethically, you're discussing whether this is a good idea or is not. It's a good idea. It's a, a sarcophagus. You can use it again and if eventually <laughs> when they work out how to <laughs> make it again, legal... Let's... Sorry, well, use, did I say move it? Use it again, I yeah, should say. Yeah. So it's, you know, eco-friendly. And um, his wow. idea, Dr uh, uh, Nietzsche, is that, as far as he's concerned, life is a gift and you should be able to give it away. I don't agree with him, I should add. Yeah. Um, and one of the things you might be able to do is move it to a country where it's legal. The most likely place at the moment is Switzerland. Switzerland. Mm. And um, you put it somewhere because it's got a clear sort of screen, you can see out somewhere nice. And, of course, you can invite people to your own funeral. But, but um, how is it different course... to going to Dignitas? Well, I think um, the manner of self-execution right. um, is slightly different. Oh and word. it means you get to do it yourself, you see. And I think that's, that's the sort of difference. I mean, it's not something that I terribly celebrate, yeah. except the idea of the delight of being at your own funeral, which I think would be rather enjoyable, because, you know, you could curate what people are going to wear and that sort of thing. <laughs> I always think that's so marvellous. You, you could die there and then have the funeral right away while yes. everyone's kind of looking at you. Well, this is the point of the trick. Yeah, well, quite oh. so, but you could also judge what they wore. You could... Um... <laughs> Include some of your 19th century dances, perhaps. Exactly. Yeah. You could be very cross at the people that didn't show up. Yeah. You know, that sort of thing. Oh. It's macabre, isn't it? it but my grandmother is constantly going to um, the grounds, you know, if you're in, yeah. mostly to funerals of people she knows, but not always. Um, and she comes <laughs> back and she sort of says things like, you know, um, you know, some people have car envy and painting envy and yeah. boob envy and that sort of thing. I don't mind. But, <laughs> did you um, just I don't know. You did do that. I don't know, but we're going to definitely end up in the sun. She'll be very happy that I looked that way, but there you are. Um, <laughs> she, um... Yeah, that's what it, my grandma's got headstone envy. OK. And so the other day I go around and see her and she says to me, oh, and I said to her, she said, 
You know, I, I went to visit someone's grave and said, you know, you don't need all that gold lettering or that marble. <laughs> Still, Margaret was very flash in life. <laughs> So that's brilliant, brilliant. So the yeah. winner win the verdict uh, yeah. starts tonight, 10 p.m. on Channel 4.